let's get start demo first so this is uh, another session of the generic repository uh, series with dot net 8 web api and here we'll learn uh, this expression so how we can implement in this uh, generic repository with the expression so that we can avoid uh, unnecessary uh, writing uh, method for the getting the result so show let's show you so see this is a one of uh, uh, endpoint we have created search with the search include and paging nation and order wide ascending descending everything we can do with this expression method so we have a uh, three uh, field over here the name i can filter by the name and uh, also page number and page size if i does not pass anything so it will return all the data with the paging nation as well as if i pass something uh, for example uh, any contain the result so also uh, it's returning whatever the data with this paging nation concept so this we actually implement using the expression so what is the expression how we can implement in the generic repository that we'll uh, learn in this session so before proceeding this one i'm especially uh, recommend uh, go to my channel dot uh, net real world example and here you can just uh, check out my generic repository series so that you have to idea what is the generic repository uh, what is that actionable repository and how we can use that multiple db with unit of work and how we can implement unit of work okay so let's proceed the implementation so i will take the same uh, same solution web uh, api solution which already available in my uh, github link so you can take care over there so let's me open the repository okay i repository which is a generic repository see we have all the that normal method right like get all uh with the return of enumerable list get y the id add sync update and delete and uh, now we'll implement that uh, expression right so see uh, why we will be to be required that expression so first let me create a one expression expression method uh, expression parameter with the method so let's create c uh, now in previously we have in this generic repository i have get by id right so think about that right uh, suppose i want to uh, get the data of that particular entity suppose i have entity product so product id only it is dependent this method only i can pass the id then i can get the result right but think uh, if we have another use cases where i want to uh, get id by the name right so then what i need to do again i need to create uh, uh like i i have to create that extendable repository and then i have to use that and then i can create this particular method and i can pass it that name and just i can implement right so this is actually huge uh, uh coding uh duplicacy and uh, 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 so and so right so that's why this is a bad architecture of the repos repository pattern so so that we can avoid with this you know expression right and later on we actually use that you know one of the pattern uh, we have used also for avoiding this concept that is called uh, specification so that i will do in next session but here uh, first we have to understand okay how is working that expression okay so see i just created with the find method where i can just send any type of you know expression and i can get the data with this same single uh, uh, result of this entity right similar what i will do i'll just create a, another method uh that is on you know, a find all but again i am sending this expression so that whatever expression i want uh, we can send it or we can get that all that uh, that particular entities okay and then finally what i can do i'll just implement another uh, expression method that is called as count right so simple think about if i don't use this count uh if i use count without this expression so always give this you know uh, total count of this entity right but uh, we have another uh, we have many use cases where i want actually count of that uh, entity but based on some criteria and based on the, some field right and so that's why we have very useful uh uh, no parameter over there that expression so which will implement over here and one last things we will implement again uh, another method 
that is very useful for in you know, our real world example as well a real world project so i just create a let me bring back uh, here so that you can see full okay so see i just create a one method you know search order and pagination and also including uh, include that uh, whatever entity right so everything is over there what i'm trying to send over here i just pass it to search uh, predicate uh, parameter okay which is also uh, accept that expression and then again i am sending at another parameter this order by so that whatever order by uh, i want so i can send it over here as expression and also it is a, a flag as a true false flag with this decide actually this is a we want to ascending or descending and also i have uh, implemented pagination concept so whatever page size and page number i will pass it over here and uh, based on this actually i can get that result also including the pagination and that finally i just use another parameter which is called actually include parameter so that you know suppose i have i want to uh, get the result of single entity but this single entity have a multiple uh, uh, multiple relationship right suppose product have as a order order as a order detail so such kind of things also we can handle inside this you know this one method we don't need to create any extension method to for you know retrieve and filter the data only this method you know we can retrieve anything for the all the also i am using this generic repository so that any any entity that we can use it this method right so let's uh, start to implementation for also uh, just this is a signature so i will implement as well so go to uh go to the repository so there's a implementation over here so let me implement all the method one by one so first of first i will implement that uh, first i will implement which one let me implement first this get get yeah this this get uh, all the result right so this is a very big one so first of all what i need to do i need to create uh, this uh, i need to set as a i query queryable with this uh, db set which is a uh, coming from on the implementation here which is a uh, no db context or set all the entity so we have stored so whatever db set of an entity we can uh, set it as a query then what i need to do second one second one i need to you know check like if if it is search product suppose whatever okay let me wrap it so that you can see what i'm trying to do over here so let me bring back this this and this and finally this okay so see this is our method okay so my first parameter okay let me bring back this one also so my first parameter is search predict so the search predict actually we just set first if it is not null then what i am trying to do whatever search predict i have i can just you know filter out and uh, now using this query dot where i can set it a uh, filter over here and then second parameter is our you know order y so if i am sending any expression with the order y what i will do i will just set if it is not null then i will just try to okay is ascending and descending if it is is there is a one more field right ascending so if i want to descending so if we want to send a true so if it is true then it will fire this query and if it is not true that means it will fire this um, else condition query okay and then finally that include parts so there is a include parts if we want send some you know uh, includes property so what i will do i will just include inside also this query i will include whatever you know uh, relationship uh, property i will send uh, via this parameter i can use and include this query that is done and then finally uh, that uh, pagination concept is there right so that pagination also we have to implement so how we can implement that one so let me call first in you know, a one of that count method because in the pagination we require you know total of count right and also this is await so what i can do i can use as a async and this is gone now 
what I am I attempt to get what is the total count so that I'm trying trying to retrieve first and then what I have to check here like first I have to check like okay if page number has a value or you know that page size has a value then I need to put some you know some query over at query dot skip then designation minus one and this is a page size value and take whatever you know which one I want to skip and which one I want to take so this is a simple designation concept actually which I trying to implement here so this is done and then finally I have you know a uh, few fields also I want to return back over here see I just want to return back you know result I want to return the total number what is the total number of this uh, uh, result and then total page size total pages which how many pages total pages over there and previous button and next version also so that also we will implement actually here so how we can implement that that I can implement very simple way using this uh, this concept I can, if I want to total pages so this is a simple logic where I can get that total uh, total pages so I'm not going to tell because it is a simple and you know, a mathematics rule so that way I can get it over here and also I want to now I get the total pages and also I need to get now is previous button on next button right so this is also I need to put some logic uh, normal logic so that also I can retrieve via this way simple is previous agar if uh, like this rules is match so that means is previous is true or if it is not then it is false or null like that simply is next condition also same it is a very simple and straightforward code so you will see you can get it I am not going to explain because it's a simple concept right so that is done then finally what I can do I need to return so let me remove this and just uh, return back whatever I am just trying to implement over here so whatever that query just you know to list finally using this you know i collection and then pass it to that i collection and this all the return types right so whatever i just set it the return types over here so see here i am using the multiple return types over here so that's why i am sending like this way or if i want to create a uh, simple class and uh, some generic uh, designation class and also it's fine but yeah uh, i just show you in the demonstration purpose so that you can easily understand you know what i'm trying to do over it. so see the implementation done of this method and uh, now trying to uh, call this method uh, in our controller so what i can do let me create a controller first so go to that controller section and create a controller controller this empty controller api and uh, api empty controller name it call like expression now this is a expression controller what i will do i will simply uh, create a expression controller uh, method here like see I just I am trying to do oh, HTTP get and just create a let me back it back so I just create a one method and let's call this and also I just pass it to three parameter right one is just you know pass the name which is contained in our list and then second one is a you know this is a search you can call it as a search and that page number and page size all i make it a null level so that if i want to send any data so that based on this i can filter or if it is not sending so i can get the whole the data right this is a concept and then actually in this uh, series i have implement unit of work so what i can do do to get that you know method to call so i need to call that unit of work so how we can do, do that simply i can create a constructor and also i have to use that unit of work class so let me call that a i unit of work class so that is name is unit of work so i need to call this unit of work create the instance and set as a pri private property and initialize that so that is done and then what i can do I simply call like this way so which I already explained I'm not going to do over here to explain how I am 
uh, working with the unit of work and you know generic repository so if you don't know not aware this part so definitely i especially recommend go to and check out my previous session so see this is done and what i'm trying to do i just call this i repository uh, interface and also I pass that you know entity and i can get this product product repository and then finally i can call it that product repository dot if i call it to here go to end and here then see it is already calling uh, give me the intelligence so i'm uh, calling this and see what is my method name my method name this get all product with the designation and here actually here once i will show you the parameter you will get that all the parameters right get all product no this is not that one i want to that uh different product right uh which is called search order and this one right so make sure we are calling correct one so yeah see this is correct one right where i can use that expression so how we can pass it expression so let me bring back over here so now it's a beauty i want to show you what is the flexibility with using i expression see now i'm passing a search right uh, search as a name so what i can do with the expression i can use the lambda expression use this x and then see when you try to that expression i will get all the entity field and you know over there right so based on this actually i can use whatever uh, whatever field you want to contain and filter you can use it so for example i will use this product name dot contain and whatever name i am just getting i will use it over here like this way so see this is first parameter i completed with the filter you know the search predict so when i click this and when i you know go to the next method next uh, next uh, parameter so it is asking me order why right so how we can order why which column i want to order why so that that we can use easily right again i will use that lambda expression x dot see it is not you know uh, limitation of that single field right so it is giving the all the field which one you want to order by so that's that's why actually the expression is very helpful to uh, use it so uh, so for example i will product uh, order by uh, with the product id so order by i should use the product id and then uh, descending i don't want to use descending it should be ascending so what i will do i will pass it to false false and then uh, what is that next uh, parameter is the next proper order y then descending and then page number and page size right so uh, so page number suppose i want to use page number so which is i'm coming from uh, the input field right so let me add that page number and then page size and then what is the last parameter last parameter is include right so let's see this is another uh, another uh, good uh, flexibility of the uh, provider the includes method with the expression so how we can uh, use that right see again use the lambda expression dot x and whatever relation property you will able to see over here but as of now i don't have any relation property but here uh, see uh, this is that relationship property right so see orders so if you want to include protect with order so you can use like that okay and also it is not only for verb one orders right means one entity suppose product have multiple uh, relationship one to many relationship with other uh, tables as well so you can use with this comma and then again you just put the comma x dot like simple x again x x lambda expression dot x dot again you can pu put your another entities as well means another relationship uh, entities over here right so but um we don't have as of now but yeah i can remove that and also i can close this over here because as of now i don't have this right so let me close this and close this yes now see now uh, we have a product and simply what i will do over here 
दिस वॉट इज द रिटर्न टाइप सी रिटर्न टाइप इज अ मल्टीपल वेरिएबल इज अ रिटर्न राइट लाइक सी आर इज अ रिजल्ट इज अ रिटर्न दैन टोटल नंबर एन एल सो दैट आई नीड टू कन्वर्ट ओवर हियर एज अ मॉडल एज अ रिस्पॉन्स मॉडल इफ यू डायरेक्टली शो ओवर हियर सो यू विल गेट इट ओवर हियर बट या आई जस्ट कन्वर्ट इट टू हियर एज लाइक एज अ सो दैट यू कैन एबल टू सी वॉट एवर रिस्पॉन्स वी आर गेटिंग वी जिस वी जस्ट ट्राई टू मेनुपलेट ओवर हियर दैट्स इट नथिंग एल्स सो सिंपली आई जस्ट यूज दैट न्यू नोनोमियस मैथड एंड कॉल इट टू दैट प्रोडक्ट टू रिजल्ट एंड दैन रिजल्ट सी इफ यू रिजल्ट डॉट वन इट रिजल्ट डॉट सी ऑल द मैथड यू विल गेट ओवर यर लाइक रिजल्ट नेक्स्ट प्रीवियस एंड टोटल नंबर पेज सो ऑल द एन ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी यू विल गेट इट सो दैट आई जस्ट असाइन ओवर यर दैट्स इट ओके सो लेट मी सेव इट एंड वन मोर थिंग इज मिसिंग ओवर हियर सो दैट आई नीड टू हैंडल ओके सो यस वन मोर थिंग एक्चुअली आई नीड टू हैंडल ओवर हियर सी दैट कंटेन कंटेनिंग द नेम राइट सपोज इफ इट इज वी आर ट्राइंग टू नल बट वी आर सेंडिंग सम यू नो uh some lambda expression right so if it is null so it should not send the lambda expression so what i can do simply i can put a one logic over here string string dot is empty or null space and then search or what it's call it's call a name so let me call it to name with its name then uh then use the ternary operator if it is not equal to null then i have to send this you know uh, lambda expression if it is null then what i can send i just simply pass it to null okay so that i can make sure okay if it is null only uh if it is not null then only i can send that lambda expression otherwise we don't record it right so see uh implementation is done let me run it okay now it's running and see this is expression uh, controller and here i just implement this and see now first time uh, i will not send anything so okay so let me execute so see now i have all the data right with without uh, without any filtration right and also if i show you see the total number of this you know uh, total number is 6 but total pages zero and is next is false and is previous also false right and see uh, now i'm trying to, to filter something for example uh, there is a many result for this you know uh, f for starting or you know contain f any p or any any uh, value right so for example i just trying to search f okay and uh, as of now i will not use first uh, pagination any concept so let me execute see only f related contain using this fan product right so for example use something a execute now see a related contain there is a four result and this four result total number is four total page size is this and this right so it's working fine right so that only not working for this uh, not this entity right so see if i passing over the order entity so it will work for order if i pass this and other entity so also it will work for this other entity right so this one method you can use it for all the application without creating any extension method and any other things right if i want you know something uh, not only just for this you know product name i don't want to uh, use that product name right whatever entity you want so you can use with this you know uh, 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 expression parameter you can use change it uh, whatever you want like product name or id on any things right so that you can use it so this this is actually uh, the biggest uh, flexibility give us that expression uh, parameter okay and uh, this is one and then okay one more thing i will to do over here so let me execute again so now i have a uh, eight result eight uh, data eight record so what i will do 
now i will use the pagination okay so suppose i want to uh, first page number and suppose i want to page size is 5 right so in this case definitely i will get that you know uh, five records per page five records but it should be total page size would be two right because uh, there's a five uh, five record was another we have a two records right so that's why is a two pages and once i use next suppose the second now see second because we have one record and also it should be is previous is true but next would be false so everything actually we have implement this you know the generic method using this expression right so that is actually the biggest concept with the expression so now go back to again our code uh, let me uh, implement other two other two or three method actually so we have implement this biggest one okay and now uh, we have to implement this other things right so i think you got some idea like how we can use expression so it's similar to same method as well but it is a single single entity we have we have created actually little complex method over here first using the expression so that's why but it is very useful right so every project required this method for this you know pagination order wise search filter everything right so now we'll implement this uh, find a sync uh, find a sync method so let me show you that one also so go to that uh, repository implementation so where is that get implementation should be somewhere yes see find async right so here what i will do i will implement find async so it is again very uh, simple find async you have to just you know use uh a lambda expression and here i want to return a weight and db set uh db set dot where and then pass it to whatever your predictions right so this lambda expression uh this expression method parameter you can pass it over here and also you can just use or just not a beer you can just use single and, and default because we are returning single uh, single entity right so let's do like this way we don't require this method we can shortly we can create this like this way okay so find also is done also we have find all so similar we will use for find find all also so let me create this one again this and get rid for this so this is also done let me change it to a sync so now find all also done okay and find finds it is a single entity a written single entity it is a given the whole entity and one more actually we have to use that count one right so where is that count count yes here is the count one so i will implement that count as well so it is very straightforward again we have to pass that you know count property and if i use also we'll use that you know uh null level uh, null level field right so that if i want to pass if i want to if i don't want to use uh, this expression so that should be written the whole count and without filtration if i pass something then i have to pass over here so it's very simple again what i need to do i need to set as a variable over here and then i need to check what is the predict and then return back to count like this way so see predict i have checked if it not equal to null then i have to uh, put that where condition otherwise i have to pay otherwise i have to return similar so let me set as async this is done and also let me stop this 
and i can use this nullable in my repository as well which i miss actually so where is that count here i'll show you both way uh, if it is null and not null also like this way right so see now we have three implementation we have to do and go back to your controller go back to expression controller uh, not this one go back to expression controller so see this is my expression controller here i will implement one by one all this uh, three method right so let me create another copy here okay and here what i will do i will call that find a sync right so this find a sync again i will just uh, input uh, from that uh, ui as a name and that you know price right so both i want to filter and then i will to return to that data right so let me uh, take that you know name whatever product name and the price and thus based on this name and price what i can do over here simply i again i use this lambda expression okay the product name equal to this and price name would be this so this is actually again see the flexibility right so whatever you know entity i want to use i can use based on different use cases not it is actually it is not only for depend okay uh, if i create any external method which is actually filter only this name and price so always that return will be accept this two parameter and they will return only these two things right but not here in case right any input you are getting from that ui you can base on this actually call over here and pass it to you can get it the data so that is done so let me implement another uh, method as well get all products by name so which is call this so again i have to get the input from this name only this time i will take only name okay which will return that find all method okay and here again just simply we have to pass that uh, if contain that uh, product name or something else whatever you want to do so you can just keep it you can just change it and you will get it over here right and similar you can just use count method but uh, yeah uh, let me create that count one also so let me create another one get product count and change it to here product count and what i can to do simply here i need to change that count is sync dot count is sync and here uh, i want to count total but i want to filter something and then i want to count right so product name something should be include something then you know contain if some name so that i want to count and also i'll show you another one which does not send any parameter for this count count okay this is count with the count with the name and this is without name okay so this is just differentiate count with the name and this is without name right so this time i don't require any input from here and i can remove from the expression right now see now it should be run so let me run and check whatever the exact uh, output expect output now expression see there's a many controller we have so we have already uh, checked this designation but i'm not going to again over here so see now get protect by the name and price so for example uh, let me check for whatever product we have so now we have this product and name suppose this product is fan and now 60 6, 000, right so let me call this fan fan a and price is 6000 right so 6000 if i execute definitely i will get the same uh, that single record right if i change something 
which is not match definitely it should be written as a nothing right similar get by product by name also this is a you know total total result will give with this contain whatever name so if i pass f so f contain only this one record if i change it to f to suppose a so whatever a contain so those are record will return to us right it's similar to page ignition uh, return list right so but i'm be using expression for understanding purpose similar this is a count right so if i want to count so i want to f so what are, how many count of with this related f so this is a six count right which is contain f and if i pass to a so how many count is this uh, it is always six why uh, let me check there any missing something so let me debugger point over here if i miss something over here i guess so let me go back with this name execute go back and this is getting the a and product count is a count is sync if i retain returning six so it is returning six a is returning six that is fine but when i use f is also six so there is a something yeah uh, go to that count implementation now see i miss something actually i create a query but i'm not assigning that query so here is a problem with this repository implementation so what i can do i need to assign this to this then actually whatever predict query that we filter and pass it to over here right so that actually miss over here so let me continue and now let me check yeah somehow implementation could be wrong that we have to know like how we can fix it so that is a good part so let me execute see now a is related to four count but when i use it f it should be only one count so let me debugger remove the debugger over here so a is one count right so that is a perfect now again i will use over here without uh, this so let me total count get yeah total count is six so that's all uh, for this session expression but yeah in uh, upcoming session we'll use you know this is a, as a pattern called is a specification so that is related to this expression so that's why i come first this expression session so that you can easily understand okay what is the expression and how we can use easily no specific specific pattern with this you know repository pattern so thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share